Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I've got another 4K review to do for you. This is a really exciting title, one that I've been looking forward to for a long time. And today we're taking a look at My Fair Lady on 4K Blu-ray. There's lots of technical details that went into this release. It was a big restoration, so I'll talk about all of that. I'll talk about the restoration of the previous Blu-ray, as well as what was done on this 4K release. And I'll also go through all the video, audio, and special features and packaging options on this release so you guys know whether or not it's worth an upgrade. So to start here, let's talk about the restoration and what went into this disc. So My Fair Lady was originally restored back in 2015 as a 4K transformation. So they scanned all the original 65 millimeter that's the film that this was shot on. So large format film. They took the 65 millimeter source, they scanned it at 8K, and then they downscaled that down to a 4K archived copy. Now, that was done by the same guy who did Spartacus, as well as a few other major restorations, um, including The Godfather. I believe he also did Vertigo and Rear Window, some of the better looking 4K discs that this guy has worked on. So that was done in 2015, and then most recently in 2019, the same studio actually went back and did an 8K scan. So they uh, reworked things. They did an 8K scan for a station in Japan, which was starting to show some 8K content. And so there actually is an 8K source for My Fair Lady, and that's what this 4K scan was sourced from. Now, I don't entirely know whether they took that 8K scan and downscaled it again, or if they used the existing 4K scan from back in 2015, but either way, a restoration was done at a very high resolution, and it was downscaled here, which is not normally a great thing when you downscale, but in this case, because we're coming from such a high source, this was a pretty solid 4K archive restoration. Now they've also done the audio at 96K, which was something I had to look into. I'm not a super audiophile, but it turns out that most Dolby True HD soundtracks for Blu-rays were done at about 48K, is sort of the, the resolution of that audio. And so they've done this audio at, the, at a much higher you know, resolution, a much higher rate than they typically do, 96K. You audiophiles out there probably understand that a little bit more than I do, but it's something to note. This was an 8K source, scanned from 65 millimeter, downscaled to 4K, and has that really top level audio quality. Now this release is simply one of the best that I've seen this year so far, and one of the best that I've seen period from this format. The restoration team here obviously did a meticulous job on restoring, cleaning up this picture, and making an absolutely gorgeous looking 4K transfer because this 4K looks incredible. It's almost immaculate. You have excellent film grain and film structure, so you don't lose that. They didn't mess with any of that and smooth it out too much, but they've removed any of the noise and the, uh, the, the dirt and any errors on the film, and they've made this pristine looking archived transfer here which transfers really well to the 4k disc and looks excellent on your tv you can make out the details of people's suits you can make out the little details on every outfit which there are many in this movie to make out details from and every little bit of this feels as if it's a pristine 65 millimeter print and that's exactly what i wanted from this restoration from this 4k blu-ray and so they've nailed it with this release it is my favorite of the year so far. Now on the HDR side of things, there wasn't much of a difference between this and the 50th anniversary Blu-ray. The color grading remained pretty consistent, although you know the whites are a little bit brighter, the contrast is a little bit better, but they didn't dramatically change the overall look and feel. Um, it's very subtle with the HDR, so in this case, um, it's the rare case where the HDR probably doesn't make as big a difference as that upgraded resolution does. Usually it's the other way around, but in this case, the, the existing Blu-ray that was out there looks twice as good here on 4K, and the HDR just didn't really do that, but that's a, a personal choice by the editing and restoration team. They didn't want to mess with that too much, oversaturate anything, and so I read up on it, and they wanted to keep it very natural and consistent with what was on the Blu-ray. Now I should note that as you're thinking about upgrading, there are actually two different versions. There's a 2011 Blu-ray, which was kind of dark, muddy, 
really not the best transfers. It looked like it was probably just upscaled from a DVD transfer. And then there was that 2015 uh, Blu-ray for the 50th anniversary, and that's what had the new restoration on it. So you could have two different versions of this in your collection. If you have the older 2011 Blu-ray, this is gonna be night and day. This is gonna be an amazing upgrade over that. If you have the 50th anniversary Blu-ray, however, you may not see as big a leap, but the biggest difference is gonna be in just how much that 4K resolution adds to the detail and quality of your picture. The HDR, not so much, but you're definitely gonna see that this is one of the finest looking transfers out there, and it certainly outdoes the Blu-ray, even though that Blu-ray was very, very well done to begin with. Now, as I said here, the audio is a Dolby True HD at 96K. It's a Dolby True HD 7.1 track. It sounds excellent. This is a musical. There are plenty of standout moments throughout the movie, and it really does build a very nice soundscape. Not a movie, and I'm not saying that Atmos couldn't maybe have done something better here, but I'm always afraid too much of when older movies get upgraded to Atmos and maybe you lose some of the original sound mix, some of that, you know, I'm a purist at heart, so I don't wanna to lose too much of that. And here on the 7.1, they've done a great job. This was also restored. They cleaned up a ton of the audio, which had hissing and pops and, you know, all the stuff that old audio tracks tend to have that was all cleaned up here. Millions of different elements were, you know, adjusted and removed and fixed and you really get what is probably the most accurate audio experience that has ever been put out there on disc for this movie. It's, it's by far the best it's ever sounded. I really, really enjoyed it. You're gonna get full use of all seven of those speakers. I was actually surprised at how much surround use I got. Still a little bit front heavy, um, but the center speaker is great for dialogue and that music, the musical sequences, really fill the room and that's where I had the most fun with this. So it's a great audio track as well, although I'd still say the visuals are the clear standout. Now packaging wise, as you've seen, you get this pretty standard slip cover here, um, same artwork that they've used on most of the releases of My Fair Lady. Uh, opening it up, you'll see that there is a 4K disc and a Blu-ray disc, although I'll talk about that in a second because that's interesting. And there is also a digital copy, which should redeem in 4K. As always, if it doesn't, when you redeem it, simply email the service you redeemed on. They should be able to upgrade that to 4K for you. It's never been 100% consistent, so make sure you check that. Now, the reason I said the Blu-ray on this is sort of interesting is because the Blu-ray included here is not the movie on Blu-ray. So that's a little bit different than what I'm used to. Typically with these, you'll get the 4K disc and you'll get the Blu-ray disc, which also includes the movie. But I kind of like what they've done here. I don't mind that it's missing that because the, this release is coming out at $19.99. So it's releasing at a very good price point. And I think that's because you didn't have to worry about manufacturing another disc. So the Blu-ray that's included in here is actually just special features. There are no special features on the 4K disc. I'm not surprised by that. The movie's nearly three hours long. It probably holds a ton of data. There probably wasn't much room for special features. And so although all the special features were previously released, there is that Blu-ray disc with over two hours of extras. So I like the overall package. I like that they're keeping this clean. If you're upgrading, it's a little bit cheaper than usual for a new release. New releases of 4K have tended to be about $24.99, even $27.99. So $19.99 is a great price point. But overall, this is so far the reference disc of 2021. Paramount, CBS, the restoration team, everybody involved in this did an absolutely amazing job. The visuals are top notch. They're right up there with other great film transfers like 2001 A Space Odyssey, The Shining, Vertigo, Rear Window, Spartacus, no surprise as the same team worked on many of those that worked on this. And it is an excellent example of still why I believe the 4K format is so much more powerful for older movies things that were shot on film that can be upscaled to 4K, 6K, 8K, whatever you wanna be able to um, restore them at and then get them down to a 4K resolution for most consumers, you're gonna get an excellent picture. It just offers so much more than a Blu-ray can in terms of data and just resolution that you're missing, especially with these movies shot on film. It's not gonna have that clean digital look that maybe some of you like and want to see, but if you're a fan of film and the, the purest look and feel of a, of a 65 or 35 millimeter film reel, as you may have seen this movie in theaters with a pristine reel, 
this is what you're getting here. So I highly, highly recommend it. It's a really great release and the audio is no scrub either. That's a nice add on as well, but the visuals are what makes this stand out. It honestly looks like it was filmed within the last 10 years. You wouldn't know if you didn't know the movie, the sets, the actors and actresses. I could probably fool somebody thinking that this was newer than it is. So I'll leave a link to buy this on Amazon uh, down in the description. That helps support my channel. So thank you if you buy through that. But also make sure you check out your local video stores like Bull Moose, FamilyVideo.com, and any other local places. It's always good to support them as well. But this will be available everywhere on May 25th. So it's coming in just a couple weeks as of me, or about 10 days as of me shooting this video. So it's coming very soon. It would make a great gift for a collector um, and it's a must-have if you're a film collector it won eight academy awards it is a best picture winner so if you're into collecting those you need to have this and just as a 4k enthusiast it's the best disc that i've seen so far this year so that's a no-brainer reason to buy so thank you all for watching this review hope you enjoyed it make sure you check out all the links like i said you can buy this help support my channel but also become a channel member donate to the channel and just follow me on tiktok and instagram as well those are great ways to passively support as well as making sure you're subscribed and obviously like this video so others will see it make sure you share it anywhere you can i really appreciate all the support there and yeah that's about it so hope you guys have a uh, great rest of your day make sure you pick this one up on may 25th it'll be in stores everywhere but use my link if you can that helps me out um, and i really appreciate that so thank you for watching have a great rest of your day stay safe and healthy out there and i'll talk to you guys soon